Hello again, I'm Shab from Pogolytics and I'm here with a new Power BI tutorial. In the previous video, I discussed how easily you can create a dimension table in Power BI. Now it is required to know how to add the fiscal or financial year information into your table. I'm pretty sure you will enjoy this video, so please watch it up to the end. And please don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. I always enjoy reading your comments and they help me to understand your problems in Power BI as the inspiration to create the next videos. You can also follow me on LinkedIn and Instagram and read my articles on my personal blog. Stay tuned. Here you can see the theme day table we created together in the previous tutorial. All you know that theme day tables are essential elements for most reports and most of the Power BI developers need it to join with their fact tables. In this video, I will tell you how easily you can add fiscal year information to your theme day tables. This can be helpful in many reports especially which are representing financial information. To start, you need to go to Home tab and choose Transform Data to open the Edit Query mode. Then click on the Theme Date table and from the Add Column tab, choose Custom Column. Name the new column to Fiscal Date. You should notice that we don't have a real fiscal date. I just named it to use it in other calculations and at the end I will remove it. In most countries, the financial year starts from July each year, and so it has a 6 months difference with the real calendar date. So in the formula pane, write date.addMonth and then open parentheses and then double click on date field which we created earlier and then comma and then 6 at the number of months we need to add to our real date and then close the parentheses. Now we have a new column named Fiscal Date with a date 6 months after the real date. Don't worry for now, we will use it this date only for calculations. Now similar to what we did previously in the last tutorial, click on Fiscal Date column and from the Add Column menu, choose Date and then from the Options, choose Year and again year. Name this column as F year. Now add a custom column from add column menu. Name it to fiscal year. And in the formula pane write FY and number dot to text. Because as you know the extracted years are in the number format and we want to change them to text format. Then we should open parentheses and write F year, which we extracted earlier, minus one, and space, dash, space, and again, number to text for the F year. Now you can see we have a column which shows the financial year. For example, FY 2022-2023. You can also extract the quarter of the financial date. Click on the financial date column and then the same we did earlier, extract quarter and name it to financial quarter. And finally, we can add financial month by extracting the month number from financial date. What we shouldn't forget at the end is removing the fiscal date and F year columns. Now you have the required information in your theme date table and you can easily use it in your reports. Let's see an example date. For example, 1st of November 2022. As you can see, the fiscal year shown as F5 2022-2023. 
and the fiscal quarter is two as the beginning of the financial year was in July and the fiscal month is five. Hope you enjoyed this video and thank you all for liking and sharing it. Please subscribe to the channel to get notification on the upcoming videos and appreciate if you can put your comments, ask your questions and give your feedbacks to improve the tutorials. Please follow me on LinkedIn and Instagram and read my articles on my personal blog. Have a good day, all Power BI lovers.